Hey there, I've got for you a workout today that's gonna be modern movements. We're gonna be using a little ball or a pillow for back support. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and have that with you. I don't want you doing these exercises without them. They're pretty intense and challenging, but they'll be fine if you have back support. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that aside to use later and let's go ahead and start some stretches. Let's take the left leg out first and we're gonna reach for the foot. Let's keep it in neutral for now as those hamstrings stretch. And then we're gonna go ahead and flex and get a nice stretch in that hamstring a little bit more. All the way up, let's go ahead and switch. Other leg is out, extend those arms towards the foot. Just hold it in neutral here. And then we will add a flex. Good, hamstrings are done. Let's uh, work on a spine stretch forward. We're gonna flex the feet again. Uh, legs are about shoulder width apart. The imagery is that there's a big beach ball in your lap, okay? You're gonna curve your spine around that ball with your arms extended. So your arms aren't going to lay on the ball and lean down. The ball's here. You're just gonna articulate your spine over the ball. So it's gonna look like this all the way in. And those ab muscles are pulled in super tight. And then we're gonna sit up tall. Notice my arms don't move up and down, same level. Curve. And my feet are flexed so I can stretch the hamstrings. And then here we go up again. Ah, nice one. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, move on with, with our new workout. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna do is going to work not only your abdominals, but your inner thighs. So we're gonna begin with our toes together and our knees open. It's a cool, interesting movement, but we're gonna start at the floor in this position, okay? Lace your fingers, hands are gonna go right behind your head. We're gonna crunch up with the upper body as we pull the lower body in. So inner thigh again and abs. So let's inhale first, chin out of the chest. We're gonna exhale, keep the toes like this, and lift. Come back to the mat, nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, lift for two. Take it back down. Inhale, lift, exhale for three, release. Keep your elbows wide. Here's four. Here's five. We'll do six because this is a series of three. Last one, lift, good, release. Now head up, knees up to begin. Just keep the head lifted and lower only. Lift it up. Inhale, lower and exhale for two and lift. Three, belly buttons in, check them. Four, five, lift, one more, six, good. Let's take a short pause by pulling the knees in. And we have one more movement we're gonna do. Same leg positions, but our arms are gonna go by our side. If you need to add a diamond shape, thumb and forefinger for the tailbone, you can do that. So we're gonna inhale here. We're gonna lower and exhale, toe taps with the knees open and up. Inhale, exhale down for two. Lift, inhale, exhale down for three. Check those abs, lift. Inhale, exhale down for four, up. We have two more, here's five. Lift, last one, six and lift. Good, let's take a nice little pause here, knees in. This next one is an interesting series of three movements. Uh, we're gonna keep the left leg on the mat first. It's gonna stay right here. Right leg is gonna be lifted, okay? Straight up, right here feels like a great hamstring stretch. 
You're gonna place both hands on that long leg, and then from here, we're gonna do a lift and pulse, okay? So we're gonna pulse for five counts, all right? Keeping every uh, everything still in the top leg and the bottom leg. We're just addressing the abdominals. Chin is up, inhale here, we're gonna pulse for five as we exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Take it down. Now we're gonna lace the fingers. Same thing, the leg's gonna stay straight up. We're gonna pulse up for five. Here we go, inhale, exhale, lift and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, release. Let's pull that knee in for a second, because those are, it's intense to keep that leg up, because we have two more movements. This time with the bottom leg. So top leg up, lace the fingers behind the head, lift the head, keep it lifted, and we're gonna pulse that bottom leg up for five. Okay, here we go. Inhale, then deep exhale as we pulse. One, two, three, four, Five, relax a minute. We have one more movement in this position. All right, same idea, but this time we're gonna circle that bottom leg for five counts in each direction. You choose which direction you wanna go first. Keep that head up, lift the leg a little, circle for five. One, two, three, four, Five, no break, let's get right into it. Other direction, one, two, three, four, five. Pause here, bring those knees in, a nice work. Those are intense, but I love them. Roll right and left here, circle the knees. We gotta go ahead and get the other leg done. Are you ready? Okay. Right leg is down now, left is up. We're gonna go ahead and put both hands behind that left leg. We're gonna crunch up for five. Inhale here, lift and exhale, crunch. One, two, three, four, five, release. Hands behind the head. Lift up and crunch to that leg for five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, short pause, knee in, gather your strength for the next two, here we go, back up, hands behind the head, head stays lifted, we're going to pulse that bottom leg up for five, here we go, lift, one, two, three, four, five, relax, Ooh, these are fantastic, one more set. We're gonna circle that bottom leg, five in each direction. Go ahead and lift that head up, lift the leg a little bit, circle for five. One, two, three, four, five. Other direction, let's get it done. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take a pause with the knees in. Beautiful job, those are fantastic. Roll right and left. Let's circle those knees. Let's take it down just a little bit because that's how we do up and down. So it's time to go down. We're gonna do crisscross legs very slowly. And then as we have that one knee in, we're gonna take our hands just underneath that knee and do a little clap, okay? So let's, we're gonna stay on one leg at a time. We're gonna do eight on each leg beginning with the left leg. Take your arms behind your head. Inhale, I want you to extend the right leg. Exhale, lift up, reach your hands, and then come back to tabletop. Other side again, two, sorry, same side, and down. Three, release. Work in the neck, that's four. Well, let's do six, five, Instructors can change the count anytime they want. <laughs> Six. All right, here we go. Same on the other leg. Inhale here, extend and exhale for one. Back to the mat. Two. Inhale here, exhale three, 
Inhale, lift and exhale for four. Inhale, lift and exhale for five. Last one, six. Knees in, nice job, roll right and left. We are getting into it today. Circle in both directions. Nice, nice, nice. All right, back to some intense leg movements. Both legs are gonna go up. We're gonna hold the left leg with both hands. I'd like for you to lift your head. You can leave it down if you prefer. We're just gonna circle the right leg, five in each direction as we're lifted, okay? Let's inhale, circle, not too big. One, two, and not too fast. Three, four, five, take a pause. Other direction, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch, no break, here we go. Holding the right leg, circling the left for five. One, two, three, four, five. Other direction, inhale here, exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Good, take it down to the mat, pause here. Next, we are going to do some uh, really good effective oblique work this, with this next one. It's a, really, it's a really interesting movement. We start at tabletop. We're gonna have our right arm down by our side. Our left arm is right here on the, uh, on the mat by our head. We're going to inhale. We're going to take those knees over to the left where that left arm is. We're going to exhale and just reach over to that side. And then just rock those knees back to neutral. Inhale, take them over. Exhale, reach. This is two. Release. Inhale, take it over and reach. Three. Release. Support your head if you need to with the other hand. Four, release. Inhale, lift and exhale for five. Inhale, lift and exhale for six. Here's number seven. Release, one more for eight. Reach, good. Switching sides now. Now that right arm is overhead. We're gonna take those knees to the right and reach to the left. That's kind of a brain teaser, isn't it? All right, knees to the right, inhale, reach and exhale for one, take it back. Inhale, exhale two, release. Inhale, lift and exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for four. Woo, inhale, reach and exhale for five. Inhale, reach and exhale for six. Two more, here's number seven, lift. Last one, number eight, reach. All right, pull those knees in again. We're doing a lot of movements with our legs up in the air and here is another one. It's really cool, one of my favorite new things. Legs up, feet are flexed, hands are gonna go Behind your head, we're gonna keep the head lifted throughout, chin out of the chest. We're gonna lower the left leg, keep it hovering over the mat and take it out to the side. Here we go, inhale, lower as you exhale, out, in, lift. Right leg, inhale, lower as you exhale, out, in, lift. Keep going, inhale, lower as you exhale, out, in, lift, inhale, lower as you exhale, out, in, lift. Let's do four more, lower, out, in, lift. Here's number two of four, down, out, in, lift, quads on fire. Last two, down, out, in, up, one more down, I'm feeling it out, in and lift, knees into the chest, pause it here, roll right and left, 
Okay, double leg stretch, as we all know, is a classical Pilates movement. This is a series, uh, a sort of a uh, takeoff on the double leg stretch. It just changes the movements a little bit. First one is a bit of a brain teaser, so that's why I like it. We're gonna start um, with our head lifted, legs are at tabletop. We're gonna inhale, extend the left leg and circle the right arm as we exhale. Bring it around and back in. You can put your head down if you want to. Right leg, left arm. Inhale, extend, exhale, circle. Keep going, other side. Extend and exhale, back in. Inhale, extend and exhale, release. Inhale, extend and exhale, release. I feel it. Extend other side, exhale, circle. Two more, extend and exhale, bring it in. Last one, extend and exhale, circle in, knees in. Good, good, good. Okay, here's the next version of the double leg stretch. We're gonna open our bodies as we would do in the double leg stretch. Then we're gonna add our obliques by taking our arms right as our knees are in. Open the body again, take your arms right. We're gonna alternate. You may leave your head down if you prefer, all right? I will raise mine. I'm gonna inhale first, knees in, open the body as I exhale. As my knees come in, I'm gonna reach over to the left with both hands. Knees back in, inhale, exhale, open the body again. Now, knees in, arms right. Inhale, exhale, open. Knees in, arms left. Again, inhale, exhale, open. Knees in, arms right. Make sure you're imprinted through this. Let's do two more. Inhale here, exhale, open. Knees in, arms left. Inhale here, exhale, open. Knees in, arms right. Good. All right, knees into the chest. Go left and right. Okay, this next one is uh, another version of a double leg stretch, but it's a little harder than the double leg stretch. It's really cool. We're gonna add some leg movements in again. So you're really, really gonna feel it all down the uh, abdominals on either side. It's very cool. So we start with our head in, knees in, sorry, head up. We're gonna inhale. We're gonna open our body as we exhale. Hold it here. Kick your legs four times. One, two, three, four. Bring it back in. Leave your head down if you need to, okay? Your arms are meant to be off the mat, lifted. Here we go again, don't have to do a whole lot. Head up, inhale, imprint the back, exhale, kick. One, two, three, four. Back to the mat. How many do we have to do, you ask? Well, we're gonna do a few more. Inhale here, open and exhale, kick. One, two, three, four, release. Let's do two more, just for fun. Inhale, open and exhale. One, two, three, four. Last one, I'm feeling it in my abs, big time. Inhale, open and exhale. One, two, three, four. Ooh, knees in, nice job. That's a good one. Let's roll right and left. Circle those knees. Other direction. Okay, doing a lot of leg stuff, I said. Here's the next one. Right leg is gonna stay at tabletop, left leg is gonna go up. We're gonna hold that right leg in at tabletop with the right hand. Left leg goes up. Hand, left hand is gonna support the head. We're gonna lift up and lower that left leg. That's the first part of the movement. Gonna come back to the mat, then we're gonna lower and twist over to the left elbow reaching to the right knee. Here we go, inhale, lift up, exhale, lower. Back up. Inhale, exhale, lower, twist. That's one. Inhale, lift and exhale for two. Inhale, lift and exhale, twist. Three. Inhale, 
Exhale down. Now twist for four. We'll do six on each side. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, reach. Last two. Inhale, lower and exhale. Last two. Inhale, exhale, reach. I believe that was six. Counting is my challenge. All right, let's switch sides. Left leg at tabletop, right leg up. Right hand behind the head. We're gonna lower. Inhale, lower that leg and exhale as you lift. Release. Inhale, exhale, lower and crisscross. Lift. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower for two. Inhale, crisscross over. Inhale, lower and exhale for three. Inhale, crisscross over, reach. Inhale, lower and exhale for four. Inhale, exhale, reach. Two more, I'm certain of that. Here we go. Here's the first one. Twist it over. One more, lift. Twist it over, reach. Nice, pull those knees in. Those are intense, <laughs> but they're great. Circle those knees. All right, uh, this one is an oldie, but a goodie. I don't use it very often, and I don't know why, because I do love it. So let's try this one. This is gonna work your obliques. You're gonna start at tabletop with your hands by your side. Head is meant to be up, but you can leave it down if you need to. We're going to inhale. We're going to turn our body to the left as we exhale. Extend our left leg. Reach, reach that hand towards those feet. Come back to the mat. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Release. Inhale. Extend and exhale over. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Inhale here. Bend and exhale over. I like it. Inhale, exhale over. Inhale, turn and exhale. Two more. Lean it over. Three more. <laughs> Take it over. Last one. Reach. Good. Pull the knees in. Beautiful. Let's roll right and left. And we have some uh, movements that we're gonna use the back support for. So if you don't have it, go ahead and pause and grab it. If you do, go ahead, roll yourself up. We're gonna go ahead and put that ball right here behind your lower back, okay? This is a very interesting set of three movements. They're intense, they're effective and they're fun. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna um, start with our arms out. We're gonna lean on the ball. Knees are bent. One at a time, take the left leg to tabletop. Go ahead and lean on that ball for support. Right leg, and then put left down and right down. Here we go again. Left, right, Woo. take it down, take it down again. Lift, lift, release, release, lift, lift, release, release. One more, lift, lift, release, release. Take a pause, grab those knees a minute. Okay, now, arms straight out. We're starting at tabletop. We're just gonna do toe taps. That's it, tap. It's intense, tap, tap, tap. Keep your abs engaged, tap, tap. Now you see why you need that back support. Tap, tap, tap. Two more, one, two. Pause, take a break, take a break. Okay, we have one more, one more in that series. Legs at tabletop, arms in front, hold it here. Raise your left arm, bring it forward. Right, forward, 
left, right, <laughs> good, left, right, four more, and then we're done, one, I know, two, three, four, release, down onto the mat. We're just gonna have a simple leg lift, lifting both of them up. And I'm gonna challenge you if you choose to accept it by taking your arm up. So let's try the first two with our arm in front. We're gonna inhale, lift and exhale. Just take it down. Love this series, it's very good for you. Inhale, lift and exhale, and then release. Let's add a challenge, arm up. Inhale, abs tight, lift and exhale and lower. Here's number two of the challenge and lower. Three, lift and lower. Here's four, up and down. Number five, lift and lower. Last one for six, lift and lower. Perfect. All right, switch sides. We'll do two uh, non-challenge and then six challenge. So hand behind the head, arm in front, legs stacked. Here we go. Inhale, lift and exhale for one and then lower. And of course you can leave your hand down the whole time if you want. Here's number two, lift and lower. Here's the challenge, arm up. Inhale, lift and exhale for one. Inhale, lift and exhale for two. Inhale, lift, exhale for three. Here's four. Last two, number five, up and down. Last one, six. Good, nice. Let's move on to bridges. Let's go ahead and roll to our back. We're gonna do some footwork with bridges today. Couple things we want to think about and remember is this works the pelvic floor as well as the abdominals. We want to pull all of that in as we're coming up. So we're going to start with just a regular bridge, lifting up. Everything's pulled in, hold it here, bring those knees together. And then let's release it back down very gently. Lift it up again, knees together, hold. And let's add some footwork, arches of the feet and calf muscles. I want you to lift up your heels, come to your toes. Stay in the bridge, flatten. Lift for two and flatten. Lift for three, check those abs, <laughs> flatten. Here's four. Last two for five. Give me one more, six. Release. Now let's work the shin muscles, opposite opposing muscle of the calf. I want you to come to your heels, toes are up. Stay high in the bridge, extend your right leg and heel tap, bring it in. Left, heel tap, and in. Right, keep that high bottom. Left, right. Left, whoop, I'm dropping. <laughs> it's easy to do, right? Let's do uh, two more. Left, last one, right. Good, all the way to the mat, knees into the chest. Roll, left and right. All right, let's go ahead and come to the uh, cat and cow stretch. We're gonna arch the back up high into the cat, keeping our abs in. We don't release them all the way up. Take it to a cow. Stretching those abs right here, it feels delicious. <laughs> arch it up. Take it back. 
Okay, flatten the back. Let's get ready for the pointer. We're gonna take the right leg out, lift, left arm and hold. Release that. Other side, left leg lift, right arm hold. Release, right leg out, lift it up. Left arm hold, then we're gonna add on, hold it. Release, left leg extend and lift. Right arm hold. Release. Okay, this next one is a bit of a brain teaser and it works the upper back a little bit. So we're gonna take the right leg out and lift it. Left arm is out too. Pull your knee under your belly as you squeeze your elbow to the side and extend. Squeeze for two, extend. Three, use that breath, <laughs> it helps. Four, five, one more, six, extend. Good, let's switch. Left leg, go ahead and lift it. Right arm, here we go. Squeeze the right arm in, bend the knee, extend. Two, squeeze that upper back. Three, four, five, last one, six, extend. Let's come to the child's pose right here for a nice break all the way down. Let's take both of our arms over to the right, stretching the left side of our body. And then over to the left. Good. All right, all the way down to the mat. We're gonna work the upper back a little bit more with this next one. It's, it's a little bit of a brain teaser. So we're gonna start with our arms bent by our side. Legs are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna lift one leg and extend the opposite let arm, squeeze it in, drop the leg. So it's an upper back squeeze, okay, as we lift the opposite leg. All right, so let's start with the left leg. Extend the left leg. Lift the left leg, right arm, squeeze the right arm in, drop the leg. Right leg up, left arm out, squeeze and drop. Keep going. Lift, extend, squeeze and drop. Lift, other arm, squeeze it in and drop. Again, up, squeeze and drop. Lift, squeeze and drop. Now we're gonna speed it up like we're doing the Pilates swimmer. So legs are gonna swim, swimmer kick. Arms are gonna do the same motion. All right, here we go. So as you're bringing those arms in, squeeze that elbow into the rib cage. Good. All right, head down, pause. Let's do one more thing for the back. Let's do a swan dive prep. Swan dive is ex swan dive is extremely um, challenging. We don't do that one. Maybe we'll work our way up to it. Legs out to the side, arms by your side. Lift up, squeeze the glutes, hold it here. Abs tight and then release back down. Nice and slow, it's kind of a stretch also. Again, up, squeeze and lift. Release. Up, squeeze and lift. Release. One more, lift. Squeeze and hold. And then release. All the way back down. Good. Short pause here, nice stretch. Turn your head on the left cheek and just let your shoulders roll in. Other side, same thing. Right cheek, let your shoulders roll in. 
Perfect. Let's come to the side. It's time for legs all the way over. Long body. I want you to lift both legs up and lift, keep keeping them lifted. Just lift the top a little bit more and lower. Abs in. Two, three. Use the abs to help you move that. Four, five, six, seven, one more. It's intense. Eight, release. I need to name this workout intense. <laughs> All right, up again with both. Leave your top leg up and lower and lift your bottom leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower than both. I can't decide if it's harder with or without the bands. Here we go. Both are up. Circle the top only. One, two. If you need to lower that leg, you can, the bottom leg. Three. We'll do five, four, five. Keep them up other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Take it down. Take a little pause. Rub it out a little if you need to. All right, let's push through. Up again, bottom leg up, circle the uh, top leg up, circle the bottom for five. One, two, three, four, five. Other direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, let's bend it in. Rub it out a second. And then we're going to go ahead and do clams, and we'll have one more thing to do, and then we'll do uh, add a little bit of inner thigh work. So clams, feet stay just like they are, and knee comes up for one, two, three, abs tight, four, we'll do ten, five, six, seven, Eight, last two, nine, one more, ten, good. Lengthen those legs now. Let's do leg kicks. So I want you to think about as you're doing this, when that leg comes forward, the abs are helping you do that movement. When the legs are behind, it's your glute and your hamstring, a little bit of low back. So lift your top leg. We're going to bring it forward. Flex, take it back, squeeze, don't arch your back. Just go back a little bit. Point forward for two. Flex it back. Three. Flex back. Four. Five. Six. We'll do eight. Seven. One more. Eight, and back, good. Let's go ahead and come up to that elbow for the inner thigh. We're gonna do leg circles with that bottom leg. So bring it uh, straight out forward just a little bit, pushing off from the mat. We'll circle five in each direction. Here we go, one, as big as you can, two, three, four, five, other direction, one, two, three, four, push away from the mat, five, perfect, let's go ahead and switch sides, almost done, okay, all the way to the mat, gather your strength, zip the abs up tight, lift both legs, top leg goes up for eight as the bottom leg stays, here we go, one, two, Belly button's in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both down. Here we go. Up again. Top leg stays up. Lift the bottom leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, release, take a short pause here. 
Here we go, back up again. Now top leg is gonna circle five in each direction, little circles, one, two, three, four, five other directions, five, four, three, two, one. These movements here, by the way, are strengthening your hip joints. They're fantastic. It's keeping those muscles strong for healthy hips. Okay, breaks over. Up again, bottom leg circle for five. Keep it lifted. One, two, three, four, five. Other direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Pull the knees in. Whew, rub it out. Let's do those clams. All right, knees bent, top knee up, and close. Number two, don't release the abs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good. Lengthen those legs again. Time for leg kicks. Abs are going to help you bring it forward, back, and glutes and hams are, uh, are doing the movement behind. Lift. Point the toes if you can. Take it forward. Flex and squeeze the glute back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, back. Good, good, good. All right, let's come up to those elbows. Let's do those inner thigh exercises. Bottom leg is straight. Bring it forward just a little, and we're not laying on that shoulder. We're pushing away from the mat. Let's circle. I believe we did five in each direction. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Other direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Done with the mat work. Let's roll to the back and stretch. Let's stretch those hamstrings. Two choices for this. You can leave uh, your opposite leg bent for less of a deep stretch or extend it out for a deeper stretch. Let's take the left, the other leg, whichever you're stretching up. Gently pull it in, never pulsing, just to hold. You can feel it relaxing, getting more relaxed. Perfect. Let's release that. Let's go ahead and stretch that other hamstring. Leg up. Ooh, that's my tight one. It's feeling better already. Tight hamstrings are a problem with a lot of people. It's important to keep them uh, nice and flexible so that you don't uh, injure them. Tight hamstrings are uh, prone to injury and cramping, so make sure you're keeping them nice and loose. I have an issue with that myself that I'm fighting with right now. Okay, let's release that. Let's do my favorite full body stretch. So take your arms over your head. This is the one time I will tell you not to keep the imprint. So I want you to arch your back up high. Point your toes, picture them being pulled away from your pelvis. Same thing with your fingers, pulling away, arching up high, and then we're gonna go ahead and push everything into the mat. Now we're doing the imprint. We're gonna relax everything back in. Let's do that one again. Extend, arch the back up, long legs, and fingers and toes, everything into the mat. 
Nice work. Roll ourselves up. Let's just do one neck stretch while we're here. Chin to the chest. Forward, turn your head to the left. Forward and then to the right. Good. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the workout and I hope you use it a lot. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining Pilates with Sherry. I'll see you next time.